Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly acknowledge our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. If by that one person's transgression the many died, how much more did the grace of God 
and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. For if, by the transgression of the one, death came to reign through that one, how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the gift of justification come to reign in life through the one Jesus Christ? In conclusion, just as through one transgression, condemnation came upon all, so through the one righteous act, acquittal and life came to all. For just as through the disobedience of one man, the many were made sinners, so through the obedience of the one, the many will be made righteous. Where sin increased, grace overflowed all the more, so that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through justification for eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience to you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. May all who seek you exalt and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say ever, The Lord be glorified. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Please stand. my feet and a light on my path. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Gear your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, in today's Gospel, compares good disciples to faithful, obedient, and vigilant servants. 
according to Jesus, good servants are those who are always ready to welcome their master who would return anytime. Good servants always do what they are supposed to do because their master may arrive at the time they do not expect. Those servants who neglect their duties when the master is away are not good servants. Ang mabuti at tapat na alipin, kahit wala ang kanilang Panginoon, kahit walang nagbabantay, patuloy sa paggawa ng kanilang responsibilidad, ng kanilang trabaho, patuloy silang mabuti dahil baka dumating anumang oras ang kanilang Panginoon at matagpuan silang hindi handa. In the same manner, according to Jesus, good disciples always do what is good. Good disciples are always upright and just. Good disciples always strive to be holy because the Lord may come anytime and when He comes, He might find us not prepared. Good disciples, good Christians are always ready to welcome Jesus. But that is not the only reason why good Christians should always do what is good. We always do what is good. We strive to be good at all times, not only because we are preparing for the coming of the Lord. Our first reading today gives us another reason. St. Paul in his letter to the Romans said that because of the disobedience of one man, Adam, sin entered the world and with sin, death. And because of the transgression of Adam, all of us were affected by sin and death. But because of the obedience of one man, Jesus, because of the good things that he did, all of us were saved. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, all our actions always have an effect on others. Anuman ang gawin natin, palaging may epekto yan sa ating kapwa. Our bad actions have adverse effects, bad effects on others. But our good actions also have a positive effect on others. Sa paggawa ng masama, naapektuhan din ang ating kapwa sa kasamaan. Sa paggawa ng mabuti, naapektuhan din natin ng ating kapwa sa kabutihan. Kaya hindi natin pwedeng sabihin kahit ano naman ang gawin ko, e eh, akin lang naman ito. Dahil lahat ng ating gagawin, kahit na yung pinakalilihim-lihim natin, palaging may epekto sa ating kapwa. Goodness has a social dimension but Evil and sin also have a social dimension. All our actions, whether good or evil, affect others. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, let us strive to be faithful servants 
who do not neglect our responsibility to do good, but always strive to do good at all times because we are ready to welcome our Lord. Let us be faithful servants, faithful disciples who always do what is good. Let us contaminate each other not with evil, but with the goodness that comes from the Lord. Please stand. In receiving the gift of faith, we are called to be obedient, to be hopeful, and to be ready to welcome Christ at any hour. Let us intercede for others with a sense of faith. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, and priests may faithfully serve in the household of faith with diligence and dedication. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may grow in our commitment to justice and love through our dedicated service in everyday life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may learn to share with one another what we have, to bear witness to a living hope and those prepare to for the return of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who face trials in life may keep believing and hoping in a God who brings everything to a good end. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Eternal Father, we do not know the day or hour when your Son will return as judge. Look upon our prayers as signs of faith in His coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just.
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse,